tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Then check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. And as always, make sure you ring the bell so you get the notifications when I drop a new video. So this is part two of my uh, COVID-19 uh, dashboard in Tableau series. So consider this bonus material. I ask you to leave comments on the first video and likes if you wanted to see uh, me format uh, the dashboard uh, that, that we have going on here. And I don't know why the map isn't coming through here. Let's go ahead and do this. And, you know, I had a lot of good feedback, uh, a lot of uh, comments and interactions. And so I, I thank you for that. So this is bonus material. This is for you. So I'm not going to go back and review what we covered in the first video just so we can get through this. It's going to be a lot of formatting. So go back to the first video and watch that uh, video. Um, then come back here so that we can get to um, the point that I'm going to start you out here. So when we left off in the last video, uh, this is how our map looked. So I'm going to give you specific uh, formatting and colors that I use so we can get the, uh, uh, the exact map that I use in the dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do here, I'm just going to show you step by step here. We're going to go to format and that brings... Uh, this up here. I want to make sure I go into shading and for the worksheet I want to select this uh, the fourth one down here, right? So that that takes care of that. I'm going to edit the title here and I want to make sure that this says um, Confirmed cases and we want to make sure that this is in white and I'm going to use my uh, my blue here. So uh, just so you know, the blue that I'm using, right, this is the blue, but I want you to see what it is. So we'll go in here and I'll say more colors. And this is the blue that I am using, 63ADF2, uh, right? So that is the exact color blue that I am using. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and make this bold. Say OK. And another thing I want to do, I'm going to come in here to format. It's going to format the whole workbook. I'm going to use the Tableau. Let's go with the Tableau medium for now. Uh, we won't deal with the colors, so we'll, we'll change that on a case-by-case -case basis. I already have that white, so that's good. Um, and then, oh, yeah, back in here, we want to make sure that we are aligned in the middle. Okay, so we are at that point. So now I'm going to go in here, again, format. Let's look at, uh, let's format the borders here. And I want to make sure that on the sheet and on the, um, uh, the row dividers, right, we want to make sure that we don't have anything there, right? That takes care of uh, that line. And then on the, um, on the pane, yeah, so we have pane none. We have column divider. Let's go ahead and make the column divider none so we get nothing there. And that takes care of that line. Uh, excellent. And then I want to do format lines here, right? And just make sure I have, okay, so I have access rulers, none. Make sure you have access rulers, none. Uh, make sure you have the grid lines, none, and zero lines just to make sure none as well. Great. And so you should have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to drag my, we already have some cases on the size and um, the, uh, the country region. Uh, on the details here. Now I'm going to drag these sum of cases and I'm going to put that on color, right? And that immediately changes. And what I can do now, I'm going to go in here, we're going to edit the colors. And I want to make sure that this is custom sequential. And then I'm, gonna, I'm going to use my blue. I'm just going to type it in here. So uh, like I said earlier, it was um, 6380F2. 6380F2. There's our blue that we want to use. I'm starting out with white and we're going to go to that blue. Say apply. Say okay. Oh, I don't know why it, it does that sometimes. It gets rid of the, if I go here and just do that, right, it comes back. Um, so you see we have that blue here, US, um, with the, uh, the most number of cases. And this data that you're looking at 
is as of April 7th. So when you download the latest, it may look a little different than this, but I'm using as April 7th to be consistent uh, for when I drop the first video. So, so we have this, and so what I can do now, we can go in here to color. I wanna make sure that my border, oh, oh sorry. I want to go to color here. And so for my border, I wanna make sure that that is black. Uh, which you know, I think it was already. And then also for the halo, you know, you can play around with this. You can go halo white, right? Makes it makes it pop a little bit. Or if you want to go halo, you know, the uh, the custom blue that that I had, uh, you can do that as well. You know, play around with it. I'm just going to go with white to keep it consistent uh, with um, you know what what I had originally. And last but not least, you see these 77 unknown. I'm just going to double click on these. These are cruise ship locations. And I'm just going to, yeah, we're just going to do one of these, hide indicator. All right. So, so this is what I had. Uh, this is the exact map formatting that I had on the first video. So hopefully you followed along and are able to, to get to this point. All right. So let's move along to the, uh, the line chart for our uh, confirmed cases. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to name this confirmed cases uh, line. And when we last left off in the uh, the previous video, this is where we were. So we're just going to make some formatting changes here. Make sure, obviously, make sure your case type is confirmed, right? We want confirmed and not death. So we want to have that filter on. Let's do some formatting. We're going to format here and go to our shading on the worksheet. Make sure we're on that fourth one down. That gets us that uh, that gray there. Now I want to change the axis. I'm going to format the uh, the axis here, and let's change the font size and the color. So um, if we go here in the font size, that's medium. Let's change that to white. Right. All right. And we change that. Uh, let's make it. Where we have it at nine. Let's make it a little smaller here to squeeze it in. All right, so we have that uh, going for us. I don't think we need the uh, the title, so let's go ahead and hide the title there. Give us a little bit uh, more space. Uh, now I'm going to go in here and we're going to edit the axis. Make sure I have that the tick marks fixed zero to three hundred. Okay, All right, that clears out some uh, some uh, extra tick marks that we don't need there. Um, we need to change the color viz. I'm gonna make sure I'm on all, right? Make sure you're on all. And I wanna use the color, I wanna use our blue, right? And so that gives us that nice kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, futuristic <laughs> blue um, vibe uh, that, that we have going on here. Uh, let's, um, let's play with the size here, all right? All right, and then finally the tool tip, and I think I already have a tool tip copied over from the completed, right? So if I do this, let's make this, you know, uh, I'm, I have the date and I'm saying confirm cases and then the sum of cases in our blue. Obviously, you can go to insert here and, um, you know, you can you can insert your different, uh, your values. There's date, there's some cases. So I'm doing that. I just copied it in, but that's what you would do. Uh, if you're building this from scratch and this gets us our confirmed cases line as you can see right these are our confirmed cases through four seven so let's move along to uh, creating the the logarithmic version of this same line chart all right really quick before we get into the the logarithmic if you wanted to see that again uh, on the tooltip if you just want to see it that's tableau medium 10 that's Tableau Medium 10, and that's Tableau Medium 20, if you just wanted that that detail. So this, um, just wanted to show you that. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And this is gonna be confirmed cases uh, line. I'm just gonna put, instead of this two here, this is going to be log for logarithmic. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna edit the axis, and we wanna make this a logarithmic, all right? Let's make that uh, logarithmic, and uh, we also see how we have these these extra if if I get out of here, you see how we have these extra kind of white tick marks there. We don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to uh, format. Let's go to format. Uh, and then we want to format the axis, which we are on, right? And then on the scale, 
let's turn these to not white if I make these let's say none <laughs> let's see that should take all right so that takes away that takes them away so so we have this chart this is uh, something that we will use so we can toggle back and forth between our if I go back to the uh, the completed um, uh, sheet and I'm gonna bring that up just to, to show you why we need that that logarithmic I'm gonna bring this in here this is our, our completed sheet if we go into the um, uh, let's go into the finished product here right so I need that in order to, to do the toggle here yeah let me let me bring this all the way up right so I do that toggle right I need that logarithmic and I need the um, the default uh, the default axis here, so that's why we're we're making two. And so, we won't get to this quite yet. Uh, the third video when we lay out all this uh, on the dashboard, we'll get to that. But you need to at least have the formatting. So I wanted to to show you that. Okay, so let's move along to the uh, our confirmed cases uh, bar chart here. So what this is is. These are the, the top 10 countries that have the most cases on the maximum date, which is 4-7, uh, in the data set, right? So I want to hold these constant. I want to hold these top 10 countries constant uh, on this date, even if they don't start out in, in the top 10, right? If they aren't number one uh, on the first day in this data set, you know, I, I want to hold these countries constant, right? So that's why we have this, you know, just a quick review. Uh, let's edit the filter. You'll see I have, um, um, I'm on the top tab here and I, by formula, what I'm doing is I'm summing, I'm summing uh, cases, see that there at the end, if the date is equal to 4, 7, 20, 20, and the case type is confirmed. So I'm summing confirmed cases, for the date of 4 7 2020 and um, the the case type is confirmed then I want to sum those cases so that's that's what's going on there uh, in in that filter and you'll note I also have a manual sort so I've manually sorted these and you know there there probably is a better way to do this I just wanted this is just the way that I'm doing it because I only want to see uh, 10 countries and I actually want to shout out uh, Justin uh, Egan who gave a comment on the first video thanks for that comment going back into the filter you know obviously if I had a way to make this max date in the data set I would do it but you get an error that you can't mix an aggregate and a non-aggregate so uh, Justin pointed out that you could use today today minus one right which you could if you if you keep the data set uh, up up to date so just want to point that out shout out to uh, to Justin Egan for leaving that comment on the first uh, uh, on the first video so let's review here on the um, well let's let's look at how we would format our, our bar chart here I'm just gonna go into uh, format and let's change obviously we're gonna change this over to to our gray I'm gonna hide the title we don't need it um, let's go ahead and change this to white Oops. let's go ahead and format the font and let's make that uh, on the worksheet let's make that white and we'll leave that as nine we'll leave that as nine for now and we need to get rid of this uh, this line right here so I can go in here to not not borders I'm gonna go in here to lines and I want to make sure uh, axis rulers is none right and I want to make sure zero lines are none. So that gets rid of the lines that were there. And we want to change our bar chart color. So if I if I get out of here, go to the bar chart color, change that over to our blue, right? And I want to make the border black just to make it uh, pop just a little bit. So this is the confirmed cases bar chart that we will use on the final uh, visualization. All right, moving on to the, the ban here for confirmed cases. I'm just going to say, rename this to, whoops, confirmed cases ban. And very simple changes here. Oh, we don't want to be on deaths. We want to make sure that is confirmed, right? 1.4. Matter of fact, if I go back here, just making sure that case type is confirmed as well, right? So, all right, we want to make sure this is always confirmed for our, uh, our confirmed visualizations here 
And then, right, we want to go in here. Let's go ahead and format, right? Change this over to our, our gray that we're using. And then we're just gonna go in here, go and confirm cases. And let's make this white. And let's make this our blue. Again, the blue that we're using, just make sure you got it, 6380F2, right? That is the blue we're using, say okay. And then I wanna make sure that on the tooltip, I'm going to get rid of that. So there is our ban for confirmed cases. Okay, so at this point, we have everything that we need for our uh, confirmed cases uh, information. What we need to do now is build out the same visuals, uh, except instead of dealing with confirmed cases, they're going to deal uh, with death. So I was gonna stop at this point, but you asked your likes and your comments. You said you wanted to know how I formatted everything. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna give you this bonus uh, material part of the, of the video here. We're gonna keep carrying on. Uh, and build out uh, the deaths with the proper color and uh, formatting. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, change the color of all these, just to, let's change these to blue so we know this represents our confirmed uh, cases. Now I'm going to uh, copy, we're going to start with the confirmed cases line. I'm going to duplicate this. And let's, uh, so this isn't confirmed cases. This is confirmed deaths. And we don't need the two. All right. And we need to, uh, first of all, we need to change the case type so it represents deaths. Right. So now I can see this is 81,000. That's that's uh, that's not good, but I'm saying the, the data is, is accurate. Um, let's go ahead and edit the axis here. Let's edit the axis. And then for, I want this to be, um, if I go to the tick marks, sorry, if I go to the tick marks, let's go with a fixed instead of 300,000. Let's go with 20,000. All right, that's good. That gives us a, that gives us a better uh, kind of axis uh, representation here. Let's change the viz color. So I, I want to make sure that I'm on all, right? And then I go into color. And we're going to choose the purple here that I've selected for the viz. You see how that changes to uh, purple? And so if you want to see what that color is, the color for purple that I'm using is 715AFF, right? So that is the purple color that uh, that I am using. On the all tool tip, right, let's go ahead, instead of cases, this needs to be deaths. And then I'm gonna change this some cases to our purple. If I say okay here, now this is our confirmed deaths line. You can see I have those numbers and actually I'm gonna move this over here and change the color over to purple to show that uh, this belongs to our confirmed deaths uh, visualization group. Uh, moving on, let's do the same thing for our confirmed cases line log. We're going to duplicate this and this is going to become um, confirmed deaths. And we don't need the two. And I'm just going to go into color here and change that over to purple. And we'll move it out over here. And uh, let's go ahead and change the, um, the filter. Obviously, that's the first thing we need to do. That needs to represent deaths, right? And we'll go into the color here on the all marks. We're going to the color, change that over to our purple, right? And I'm going to go into tooltip. Change this from cases to deaths and change this over to purple. All right, so now we have our log chart. Oh, let's go in here to the um, um, the axis here. No, I think we're at, no, we're actually good because uh, because I duplicated it. So we're good here. This will, when we throw this on the dashboard, uh, we won't have as many marks here. So this is good. Uh, moving on. We're going to duplicate our confirmed cases bars. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Again, this becomes, let's get rid of the two, and this becomes deaths. 
and we have to make sure that uh, well let's show the filter here and oh, I hate when this happens let's uh, I can format the filter uh, change the font uh, color here to black oh I have to do it in the body sorry let's change it to black there we go so just make sure that that is deaths okay so now now that represents uh, deaths and so we want to edit our country region filter you remember we have to um, we have to edit the filter here and 47 is still our max date but instead of case type confirmed this needs to be deaths say okay right and we end up uh, with with this situation here and now we just have to do the manual sorting so you may ask how do I know what my top 10 are um, are there some other uh, countries in here that could conceivably have more than uh, this number so what you could do if I go in here let's say if I go in the edit filter just say none right let's just say I say none I say okay and then I show standard not entire view I know that these are, are my most impacted countries I can also see Belgium uh, is here so I would have to use this I mean I just kind of manually scan through here and then I can see uh, what the top countries are um, uh, unfortunately it looks like uh, Belgium is going to be in here so I'm just gonna hit control I'm just gonna undo gonna hit control Z so that puts my that should put my filter back in here where the case type is deaths uh, I will say okay here and so this is where our um, our manual sort comes into play All right, I know this is right because Italy is 17 127 as of uh, April 7th so now um, we're gonna do the sort it's a manual sort and uh, based upon you know what I know um, Italy is going to be number one and then uh, Spain is number two right and then I'm just going to do this uh, really quickly. I'm going to put you on pause and magically have this sorted. And here we are, magically uh, sorted. You can see I just I just manually sorted these here, and that that looks right. And so all we need to do now is change our. Make sure we are yeah okay. So color, um, and we're going to select that purple, right? And this is what we need here for our. Um, for our confirmed deaths bars, I'm going to change the uh, the color here to purple, and we're going to move that here to the end. I'm going to duplicate confirmed cases bars once again. So let's duplicate that because this is a visual that I'm going to uh, throw on the uh, tool tips here. So let's call this confirmed cases bars province provinces right and what we want to do here let's drag let's get rid of that let's drag the province or state here I'm gonna remove the country and uh, region so we get uh, that mess and let's just go to a, a standard view and I want to um, let's let's sort this by give them a sort and then we're gonna sort this by field descending uh, cases sum that's fine right and we see we have all these NAs and that represents uh, all of the countries that don't have uh, provinces right there's no province information or state information for for some countries and so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and exclude that right there and you'll see kind of uh, our heavy hitters uh, rise to the top and I'm not going to uh, worry about uh, the sort here um, because once I come into let's see I want to put this on the uh, the tooltip for conf uh, confirmed cases bars so let's if I come in here and go to the tooltip let's just get rid of that let's do an insert sheets confirmed cases bars province say okay and so you'll notice you'll see when I when I select US right the state or province uh, with the most cases kind of kind of shows up uh, New York um, you know Spain I don't think has any Italy France France has has a few uh, China uh, has some as well so just wanted to create this uh, this confirmed cases uh, province um, 
uh, viz so we could throw that that viz in our our tooltip. Okay, last but not least, let's go to our confirmed cases uh, ban. And also in this tooltip, I'm going to go ahead and insert um, the confirmed cases bars province. Say OK there. And so you'll notice um, I have New York number one. This is across country. So since this confirmed cases um, represents all countries, the provinces are going to represent multiple countries as well. So you see New York and, and Hubei province. So we can throw that in there. Now we need to duplicate this um, for our deaths. So instead of confirmed cases, this will be deaths, right? And I'm just going to go into the tooltip. Actually, you know, I'm not going to build out a provinces uh, for for our confirmed uh, deaths here. Have you seen how I've done it for confirmed cases? Uh, I would challenge you to go ahead and build out a confirmed provinces for the deaths. You would know how to do that. But here we need to make sure this is deaths, 81. And if I come in here to text, and this needs to be confirmed deaths, right? And then let's change this over to our purple. Say OK here. And let's go ahead and move this. Well, let's change the color. Change the color over to purple. And let's move this down here. You know, uh, confirm cases, deaths, ban. There we go. So that is our, our final piece for this video. Okay, really quick, let's go back to our confirmed cases ban. I must have edited the wrong one. This is still confirmed cases, but we're just going to rename this so so the two isn't there, but you but you get the point. So so we are at the end here, and I want to thank you for sticking around this long. Again, we've gone through all of the formatting uh, of the, the visualizations that you're going to need for the final dashboard. You asked for it with your likes and your comments, so I've, I've given it to you. So you pretty much, you have everything you need to build out um, the, uh, the dashboard that you've seen here. Um, and, and I'll say this, um, if, you, if you show me um, the same amount of support, you know, if you give me the likes, if you, if you comment on this video, I will make uh, the third video if you need to see the layouts here. If you need to see the layouts on how I throw these pieces on the dashboard with the with the line here and uh, with the um, um, the the toggle between uh, the default axis and the log axis, give me a like, give me a comment. It takes me a long time to put this stuff together, so just return the favor. Just give me a like or a comment, and then we'll have the third video out uh, if I see uh, enough support. So. This has been Anthony Smoke. Thanks for sticking around, watching the formatting with your likes and your comments. Uh, until next time, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.